baby it's echo here welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is echo and i'm a little space content creator so we are going to be continuing our paleo pines playthrough let's just jump right into it okay um is today a new day i can't remember if i started a new day it says it's afternoon so i guess it's not a new day go to sleep Start a new day. Perry is now a helper. And we have some seeds on our ranch. So that's fun. It's always good to get some free seeds. Let's saddle up Perry. Alright. Yay! Sorry guys, I've been playing Roblox, so I keep right clicking. <laughs> um, those seeds over here. Oh, I didn't even read that alert. Okay, yes, Perry can help us with watering our crops. So let me just go demonstrate that. Our crops don't need watering though, so it's like wasting the stamina. How annoying. I don't think this is gonna go away until we until we use her ability. <laughs> so Alright, look what Perry can do. Ready? Wow! Good job, Perry. That was real silly, but I guess you can't really control the tutorial spawnings when it's a rainy day. But that was kind of annoying. I'm not going to pretend like it wasn't. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing? Anything fun been going on? Dang it. Look this way. There we go. Alright. Um, don't run from me, Lucky. Hi! I forgot to give everybody their morning pets. Let me go pet Perry. That's so cute! Going to use Lucky to clear some more debris. Mm, we'll clear up here again. Starting to get a little wild. And now we've got no stamina left, so we are going to switch over, but first hold on. Make Lucky follow us, and we're going to use Perry as our mount for the day, because Perry also has sprinting abilities. Before we leave our farm though, oh, nothing new, okay. Um, I did see that we have carrots that are ready to harvest, so I'll harvest those. Um, do I have my thingy on me? I do not. Alright. Let me grab that real quick. Um, we'll plant some spring onions. Oh wait, actually, let's see what kind of soil we have. soft soil um perfect soil for spring onions cool so it works out yay let's 
Let's see if we get any cool Sterechia sources. But first, you know, I gotta grab all of our harvestables. So I'll just do that real quick. Um, so far it doesn't look like we have any rare ones. Which is unfortunate, but it's okay. So cute. Oh, we have a pretty rainbow again. I love when the rainbow shows up. Oh, the gray one's a really pretty color. So cute. That's a rare one! Right there! Or an ultra rare maybe? I've never seen a rare one of these guys, so that's pretty cool. Those colors look good on him. Should we see if we have any rare triceratops? I'm gonna get really sad if we have a rare one. Mm, nah. They look normal. Trying to preserve as much stamina as I can because I know I'm going to get very annoyed by how slow we're moving by the end of the episode. <laughs> um, before we explore everywhere else in the valley, I'm going to check on the bulletin board and see if we have any easy quests that we can finish while we're exploring. Hello, little babies! No immediate quests. So let's see. Study the Styracosaurus. Um, we can do that. Three stones. We can do that. Um, we don't have potatoes. Oh, wait, wait, what did she want? Garlic? Oh, we don't have any garlic. We could do that. Hmm. And that one... I think we have wood. Okay. Alright. Um... Is anybody here that needs to be talked to? Nope. Cool. Check our task because I already forgot. Um... Uh, study Syracusaurus, study Gallimimus, those are easy. Three stones, five woods, and then search around the valley's hidden pond. We can do that. Let's go grab the stone and wood first. Then on our way back we'll study the Styracosauruses. And then we'll make our way over to the Gallimimus. And then look at the pond. We are on a mission today. Okay, so it's three rocks. And then five wood. Okay, and that's it, right? Now I just need to study and find the trinket. Yep. Cool. Being super productive today. Let's study the purple one. Come here, little friend. Oh, wait, no, it's big. Medium and small. My bad. It's been a while since I played Paleo Pines. <laughs> so, it's been a... It's gonna take a, a second or two to get used to the groove of everything again. I think this might be my first time registering this Dracosaurus too. So that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, alright. Now, let's head to the Gallimimus. Alright, now I don't know where it is. I don't think I've ever found or accepted this quest before. So, oh, found it. That was easy. And we have Perry's counterpart. So let's get that one's attention. There we go. 
So this is a different color variation or pattern of Perry's color palette. So yeah, pretty cute. There we go. Nice. Alright. Um, uh, let me check to see where everybody is. Exploring and at home. Cool. I wonder where Mari is. It said exploring the valley. But I don't think I saw her in any of her usual places. Well, there's Owen. So let's just... Complete his quest real quick. Oh, what? Give a potato to Bongo. All right. Cool. So I guess we have to go find Mari now for two reasons. But before, yeah, yeah, we're gonna stay on track. We can explore dinosaurs and stuff after we finish the quests that we have taken. Oh, I see wood. Give me that. Oh, there you are. Alright. Let's give Bongo a potato. Hey, Bongo. Hey, Mari. Can I feed Bongo a potato? Here. Guess not. Oh. Hi, baby. Nice of you to think of giving- Oh, it's- oh, <laughs> I got the dinosaur names confused. That's Paprika, not Bongo. My bad. So Paprika doesn't like potatoes. Alright. I don't know what that did. Uh, should really read character dialogue. Whoops. Let's, uh, no, Owen's probably going to be in the square at any point, so let's just go do this. Alright, so, Agami, I got your wood. Alright. And Marlo, I got your stones. Um, and Poppin has an arrow above her head. Hi, baby. Are you here for a Poppin? Chat. The Poppins are particularly crunchy today. Can I tempt you? Not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? Is there something wrong with my Poppins? What could be better? Another flavor. 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 The recipe for the poppin' has been in my family for generations. To change the recipe would be to laugh in the face of tradition and family values. Corlin, hey Corlin, don't you think my poppins taste great exactly how they are? Honestly, not really. Wow, Corlin. Fine. I can't believe I'm saying this, but what do you think would make them better? Juicy poppins. Juicy? I know you're new here, and I don't mean to be rude, but that's a terrible idea. In fact, I'll prove it to you. Find me strawberries or carrots, and I'll whip up a batch of juicy poppins for you. Um, so carrots. How many carrots do I need to bring? Oh, just one? Alright. That's not that bad, then. I was worried because we have to complete Agami's carrot quest. So I didn't want to lose all of my carrots. We're almost out of stamina! Run, Perry, run! Just one carrot, right? I'll bring her exactly one carrot. Hopefully she doesn't need any more. Or they. I think Poppin has gender neutral pronouns. I'm not entirely sure though. Do any of the characters have 
pronouns like that? I don't know. I don't pay attention. <laughs> I brought you a carrot. Cool, so now we can befriend a Strachiosaurus. What time is it? It's about to be afternoon. Should we wait? Because I think in the afternoon, Owen shows up here. Is Owen going to be here yet? Uh, maybe we do have time. Um, Alright, I think I'm going to risk it. Let's see if we can make it to his house before he spawns over here. I don't think anybody has stamina right now, so it's going to be a rather slow journey. Um, so we're gonna ride Lucky, because I think Lucky is faster even though she has no stamina. Owen! I still see him. Don't despawn, Owen! Oh yeah, I forgot we did the potato quest. <laughs> Oh my god, now we have to look for a quill? Um... Okay, I guess we're looking for a quill now. Um... Oh, we have to talk to everybody first. So tedious. I thought we just had to search for it. We'll collect the harvestables soon. I just want to get these quests out the way first. It sucks that there aren't any peach or rare Strachiosauruses because we could have befriended one today now that we've unlocked their poppin. Also, I saw that um, people have said that we should keep Perry, even though she's not part of the rules, just because she's so cute. And by people, I think only one person commented that. So, shout out to you if you are that one person. <laughs> Hello! No, I'm asking about Owen's quill. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well that was easy. Um, no, let's see. It's about to be in the afternoon. Anyway, um, yeah, so shout out to the person who said that we should keep little Perry even though she isn't part of our challenge. I have decided that unless we find the albino gallimimus, that Perry is safe. And even if we find the albino gallimimus, I'll probably still keep Perry just because I get emotionally attached to video game characters so i think as soon as i befriended perry i wasn't really going to give her up just because she was just so cute and the animation for getting rid of dinosaurs is really sad and i don't want to go through it <laughs> are you kidding me i looked away for a second i just walked all this way so inconsiderate Owen and here I am with your quill Ugh, whatever I guess we'll just take this time since we walked all the way down here to look at the babies ooh got some pretty colors hello and who do we have over here ooh that red one is so pretty Let's go say hi to the little dinosaurs. Um, what are they called again? The Ankies. They're not really little, they're actually quite large, but they're little babies. Oh man. Hi. Hello. This is a peach color dinosaur. She's so cute. I actually have her in one of my personal files. But yes, this is a carnivore. And carnivores are a bit expensive to care for, especially when you're first starting out. She's gorgeous though. Did I get it right on my first try? I did! Yay! Post a Zookus. Oh god, such a beautiful dinosaur. I remember the last episode I said we were going to go through and catalog all of the dinosaurs. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Uncommon Peach Post Zookus. So beautiful. Ugh. I want to befriend them. Wait, how is Bongo here? Oh, Owen's back. Cool. I was going to say, how is Bongo here, but Owen wasn't. 
That would have been silly. I don't like how Lucky is like looming behind us. That looks scary. <laughs> Which of these treats is... Well, we need some strawberries. Yay, we got three strawberries. Do you need any more help? No? Cool. This is another reason why I want to unlock the areas as fast as possible. Because it's literally midday and we have run out of things to do because we're not befriending anybody right now so there's not much we can do um we can't clean up the ranch because lucky is out of stamina once we have more areas to unlock and explore the days will go by a lot sooner or quicker i don't know so that we don't end up sleeping in the afternoon and missing out on a lot of like time you know what I mean I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense but that's my way of thinking <laughs> um yeah I think we're just going to go to sleep and go to the next day see that's one of the challenges with this challenge is there are going to be days that are technically wasted because we don't have a specific colored dinosaur that we need but that's how challenges work. All right, since today is not a rainy day, we actually get to use Perry's um, talent and it won't go to waste. Yay, good job, Perry. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these guys. Oh, well that's fine. <laughs> Perry deserves a nice little pat, so good girl, Perry. And I think we now have enough carrots for Agami's quest, which is amazing. Maybe we won't use Lucky to clear out stuff today. Maybe we'll actually just use her as our- whoop as our steed. I don't know. Maybe after I'm done with chores I'll decide to use her as our steed but for now. Or um to use her- what's her talents? This is what happens when I talk too much. I just start rambling about things that make no sense. No rare dinosaurs again? Ugh. I hate when we don't get any rare spawns really slows the progression of our story. Ooh, but we have, oh my god, four pairs? I guess I can't be too mad because that was amazing. Usually the trees only drop like one or two if you're lucky, but today I got four. So we'll take that as a good sign. Hello little babies. Ooh, orange. That's a pretty color. Cute. Here are your carrots. You're ready for potatoes. Ain't no problem that can't be solved with a potato. By the way, take these back. I never actually wanted the carrots. Or better yet, bring them to Corlin. He'll trade you anything. All right. I guess, I guess that was it. Okay. <laughs> uh, five stones. I think we can do that. A lost hat around Pebble Plaza. We can do that one. We can do that one. And we can do that one. And we can do that one. All right. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's see what we're doing first. Collected from Owen. Okay. Marlo, Mari, Owen. Oh, we should have looked for the hat first. Alright, hold on. It's like probably right at the entrance, so let me just grab that real quick. Aha! Alright, now we can go say hi to Owen.
All right. All right. So we need eight stone. And how much? How many wood again? Was it five? Two wood. We're gonna have to use Lucky's stamina after all because we're running low on wood. Or not wood, um, stone. Probably running low on wood anyway. Look at me using Lucky's stamina after I said we were gonna have to preserve it. Woo! Don't judge me. I just hate walking slow. It's not fun. Okay, and now we talk to Agami, and we would have completed our tasks. Okie dokie. Well, we completed a round of tasks. I don't think there's anything else to do. Oh, Mari. Alright, we gotta go talk to Mari. Um, let's use the gala. We'll use Perry since we need to use Lucky Stamina for the farm. Let's grab these. Very important to get as many harvestables as possible. These will come in handy when you need money. So as I was saying, a lot of these episodes are probably just going to be me speeding through days because if you don't have the right dinosaur spawns for a challenge, you're gonna have to reset your day. Or not reset your day. You know what I mean. Restart and start a new day. <laughs> so, yeah. Good job, Perry. Dang it. There we go. Alright, so I grabbed some things while we were running. So now, empty my inventory and call it a day. Oh, it's dark. Very, very dark day today. Oh, we got dino poop to clean up. Morning, Lucky. Good morning, Perry. Whoop, my bad. Going to have to use you to water our crops. Our crops. <laughs> Okie dokie. I am very determined to get a Storachiosaurus in this episode. Very determined. Wonder what soil that leaves behind. I think that might be sticky. Yeah, I'm getting so good at this game. And sticky is good for carrots. Let's plant some more carrots. Do we have carrot seeds? We do. Um, we only need three though, right? bring Lucky along with us, but we're just going to speed through real quick. Um, just to see if we have any- oops, sorry. Ugh. See if we have any peach dinosaur spawns today. Um, and we're gonna use Perry's stamina for doing this. 
Fingers crossed. Oh, that's a pretty color. Hello. I don't think I've seen this color before. So cute. Unfortunately, tis not peach. I don't see any Starakis this way, so they might be in the secret hideout spot. Let's head over there. Fingers crossed we have a peach Staraki or albino. That'd be pretty. And we do not. Nope, just blue BBs. Uh, all right. Well, Perry's already low on stamina. No, get us home, Perry. Oh, she's tired. <laughs> well, you did good today, Perry. You're a good little dinosaur. Oh, I guess I did. I really didn't bring Lucky with. My bad. All right. Um. So we're still gonna bring Perry along, but obviously we can't use her stamina. So we're going to use Lucky as our mount. But we're still going to bring Perry along. Actually, now that I'm just thinking about it, I did not bring Lucky along. I told her to, to go home. Whoopsies. My bad. So I know I literally just said that I wasn't going to speed through the days and I was going to make myself do collectibles and missions, but I'll be real honest with you guys, I'm already bored of that, so... <laughs> um, I'm just going to visit the town, see if there's anything interesting going on. Like obviously right here we have a Gami with an arrow or excla exclamation point and there's something going on down there. So let's figure out what we're doing. Ah, just the person I was hoping to run into. The other day I promised Mari I'd whip up a classic recipe. Potato, carrot, and spring onion stew. Only I'm out of potatoes and carrots. And spring onions. Of course. Alright. I guess we're going to do this. Oh, Agami. And let's meet you, you pretty person. Ah, so you're a Ronnie. If you're interested, I could experiment with some color. Could be a whole new look for you. But I'd still look like Pippin, wouldn't I? Of course you would. What I was envisioning... Oh, hello, baby. Who's this? A new friend of yours, Pippin. A new friend of everyone. Baby just moved into the old ranch in the valley. Inspired, you are giving off farmer chic. That's exactly what I was going for. Um, meet Arani. She's a traveling stylist, seamstress, tailor, and trimmer. Did I leave anything out? Not a thing, Pippin. That's Arani. The whole package with the whole package tied with a vibrant bow. Charmed, baby. I sense the carefree vibes of a fellow traveler in our midst. There's nothing quite like the freedom of starting fresh with no more than the clothes on your back. Yippee! <laughs> uh, how open are you to changing your hair, outfit, blah, blah, blah? Open to anything. Ooh, a cryptic answer with plenty of possibilities to play with. I like what I'm feeling. You'll catch me passing through Pebble Plaza from time to time with all sorts of exciting energy in tow. Let me know if you need anything at all, from a subtle shift to an extreme makeover. So this is where we go to change our clothes and our hair, right? You can't change your skin tone, but you can change your hair and your hair color. I slam the door, I can't ignore. I'm recording! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, sorry for the interruption. My daddy just got home. Um, but so yeah, you can change like your hair color here, your hairstyles. 
Um, and you don't have any clothes yet because you actually have to buy clothes from her. Which leads us to the clothes. There's so many cute outfits. But you will need to have fiber as well as enough shells. And obviously we don't have a lot of shells. So we're not going to be buying any clothes right now. But that's what Arani is like her job. Um, let's chat with her. Uh, let's say that we travel a lot. That's right, you've just arrived from who knows where. I could sense the adventure on you. The freedom of the open road, not knowing where you'll put your head down next. There's nothing like it. But seriously, if you have any tips for shaking sand out of a sarong, you let me know. Let's chat again. Oh yeah, the trinket! Yay! Alright, cool. Now we just need to go talk to Owen. Alright, quest is finally complete. Amari oh, has a arrow on her head. Or exclamation point. <laughs> Howdy baby, great to see you out and about. I'm heading up to the edge of the valley. Heard strange noises over yonder late last night. Gonna have a pink peek. Could you do me a favor? Can you bring these to Owen if you get a chance? That's part of Owen's lunch. Owen was supposed to come with me earlier, but uh, he's caught up on writing one more thing. That boy really needs to get out from behind the desk. Okay. Alright. Well, good thing you still have stamina lucky. Let's go give this back to Owen. Wish we would have known we were gonna we were gonna have this quest because we could have killed two birdie birds with one stone, but whatever. Mari's looking for you. Mari, oh no, we were supposed to don't tell me she left without me. The day's barely started. Couldn't she wait five more minutes? Well, maybe it's for the best. She can dive in and I don't have to rush. Though she did promise to bring me lunch. Oh, she gave you the peppers? You know what? Keep them. All this adrenaline has wiped my, out my appetite. Cool, now we got peppers. Ooh, I see we missed some harvestables. So I'll just go and grab them real quick. Let's head home now. Look at how many saddles we have. We haven't even bought any. See? That's what doing quests does. The importance of doing quests is what I meant to say. <laughs> because let me tell you, those saddles are expensive. Expensive. Alright. I think we're gonna. Well, I can't run because Lucky's low on stamina. <laughs> but we're gonna call it a day. Give the baby some head pats. Wait, hold on. Why aren't you responding? There we go. I guess I was doing it too fast. Alright. Now we'll call it a day and hope that tomorrow we'll have some peach dinosaur spawns. Okay, fingers crossed everyone. It doesn't look like there's any poop in the pen. Let's grab Harry. Go water some plants. And then we'll get the day started. All 
Alright, cool. Um, yes, so we'll run around with Perry first. Fingers crossed! <gasps> I think that might be a peach dinosaur. Oh no, it's sunset. Or sunrise. Ah! Alright, so today is another day without a peach dinosaur. Ah. I wonder if I'm actually going to keep any of this footage in, or if I'm just going to cut it out. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it in and I'll ask you guys um, for future reference when I'm stuck hunting for a specific dinosaur species like this one and I have to travel a lot of days before we find them. Do you want me to keep that footage in or would you rather I just cut it all out and only show you when we find the dinosaur that I'm looking for? Let me know in the comment section please and thank you! We have, I think this is a dragonfly color. Oh, we got double cherry ankies. That's cool. Grab those. Um, I'm like very hesitant with checking the ankylosauruses since we can't really get to them yet. I'm worried we're gonna find the lotus colored ankylosaurus, which is the lesbian fly colors. Um, because that design is so beautiful. And it's very close to a peach color palette, so I really want to get that Ankylosaurus. And I've never seen it before, so if we randomly find it, I'm going to be upset. Look at this gorgeous baby. Ugh, I wish you were peach. Dang it. Let's see. Nope, no special dinosaurs. So we'll just trot back home and we'll use all of Lucky's stamina clearing the farm and then we'll just call it a day. Look at all those cranberries. Awesome! Alright Lucky, your time to shine. Lucky! Now we're gonna ride Lucky. Oh my god, guys! I think that's a peach dinosaur! Finally! I was literally about to get so irritated at the fact that we haven't found a peach dinosaur yet. But here she is! Let me just go make sure. Hi, little baby! Oh, so beautiful. Oops, wrong one. Pretty sure she's peach colored. <gasps> yes, she is! Alright. Let's go get let's go get our supplies to be friends with her. Finally, guys! Ah! How exciting! We have a Staraki baby! Well, not yet, but we're going to. Okay, we need juicy and carrots. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> I 
Alright, and we're going to feed carrots. Oh, what a cutie. carrot and then I think we're gonna have to soothe her and then hopefully we'll be in the dark green area right, yes now soothe maybe or should we try to feed another carrot let's try soothing first oh we should have fed her another carrot try again fingers crossed it lands in the dark green So close. Should we risk it? Let's let's risk it. We'll give it a chance. All right, fingers crossed, everyone! Yay! We did it! Oh, look at our baby! She's so beautiful. All right, let's give her a pet. Oh, what should we name her? Hmm. Um, alright. We're not gonna name her anything for now. Okay. But comment name suggestions, please, and thank you. We got a Strachiosaurus! Sorry for all the pictures. This is a great thumbnail. <laughs> What? Are you kidding me? You actually managed to befriend a Strachiosaurus? Do my eyes deceive me? It's magnificent. The nose horn. It's got to be at least two hands long. Oh, three at least. And the partial squamosal. Squamosal. Squamosal, I think. Frill is beautiful. I'll say I've never seen one up close before. It's amazing, isn't it? Doesn't it make you want to... Yes, it makes me want to... Sh what? Oh god, I thought I was gonna say run. Yes, it makes me want to go straight to my library. What? I was gonna say, doesn't it make you want to go out into the field to see more? No time for that. I've learned so much in just these few moments. I need to go home and write this down. Though the more I look, the more I there is to see. I hate reading. <laughs> I know what you mean. Wouldn't it be cool to see it a different color strachiosaurus up close? That would be ideal. You go observe. I'll head home and write down the details we've learned already. You don't have to tell me twice. Hanging with strachiosauruses all day? Sounds perfect. Excellent. Enjoy exploring with your new friend, baby. I hope they enjoy the ranch. Bye. Oh, a little baby. She's so cute. Oh, gorgeous. All right. So we have to... Ooh, I see some harvestables. Well, since we finally got a Styracosaurus, should we just explore? Well, I have to go give make her a home first before I forget, because I will forget. expand it more because then oh maybe it'll be fine nope all right oh look at that i thought we were gonna run out cool all right now let me just go take down these other fence posts and it should expand on its own Oh my god. There we go. So frustrating. Hi, Lucky. We actually need you for a minute. 
Let's clear up the debris that's in here. Oh, there's just one. Alright, cool. Um, hey, little baby. This is your new home. Yay! I probably need to put some more food in the trough. Let me go get that done real quick. Alright. Let's see how, how are you doing? Happy friend. You're gonna come with us today. I think we can bring three dinosaurs out, so we're gonna bring Lucky with us too. And let's head out for the day. How exciting! We finally got our peach baby! Our, uh, this is our first peach dinosaur, right? Ah! Oh, that is super exciting, actually. This is our very first peach dinosaur of the challenge. I'm smiling so much right now. <laughs> so this has been a very productive episode, I feel. Um, yeah. I'm so happy. Look at them. Look at my dinosaurs. They're so cute. Oh, let's actually go to town. And we can check to see if there's any easy, um, oh, clovers. See if there's any easy tasks to get done first before we explore. But also, I'm just gonna just, I'm just gonna run over here real quick and grab that. All right, now we can go to town. <laughs> Deliver a hat to Corlin. We can do that. Um, two wood is needed. We can do that. Ronnie's not here. Or, I mean, Poppin isn't here, so we're not gonna claim that. Poppin isn't here. Um, what do you need? Garlic? We don't have any garlic. I think we might have enough fiber, so we'll do that. Alright, those are our quests for the day. Oh, cool. I forgot that we collected all that wood earlier. Hey, Corlin. And done. And it's it's so, like so annoying when their quests are literally back and forth like this, but it's also very helpful because then I don't have to go out of my way to get paid. So it works out. Let's see what else we've got to get done. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this. I don't know if we have enough potatoes. I'll go check. We need to get five fiber. Alright. We'll also check on the agami stew before we run out of time for that quest. Because it is a very important quest that we have to finish. Alright. Put everything back. Um, mom, mom, mom. You know, while we're here, maybe we'll, we'll test out the carrots and see if our little baby likes carrots. Yay! Her favorite uh, snack is carrots, so she likes juicy and crunchy flavors. So 20 carrots, right? Um, was it 15 onions? And then 10 potatoes. All right. Cool, we did have enough. Awesome. All right, we'll go over to Granny. Hello. Here you go, vegetables. Oh, sorry. Um, so she's gonna teach us how to cook. There's a cooking spot, a cooking pot next to Owen's Lake. We know exactly where that is. Um, but I also have your fiber. Awesome. Alright. Now the cooking in this game is very irritating. And you will see why in a minute. Um, at first it's not too annoying because she does give you a recipe. And it kind of guides you. But after that you don't have any recipes. And it's all just trial and error. Which can be fun. But it's a little annoying when you've just started and your resources are very scarce. Cool. Everybody's here. Let's get on to cooking. So we are going to make classic stew. What? Oh, I guess we're experimenting. Alright, start by adding potatoes. 
And then we're going to add our spring onions. And then we're going to add our carrots. And this should give us classic stew. Wait for it. Now! We've mastered classic stew! Yay! Now we can cook again or experiment to get new recipes. So when you cook again, it doesn't tell you when it's done cooking. And that is where I've been finding trouble, is I usually pull it off the, sto the stove um, too early or too late, which results in gloop, which is essentially just poop. Um, <laughs> and it's, like I said, it's very annoying when you have scarce resources and you're trying to cook and it just literally goes in the trash, so. We're running low on stamina. Ooh, we just made it. Good job, Perry. She's so sweet. Hi. We've made you stew. Now you know the basics. Don't be afraid to experiment from time to time. Sure, you may end up with some catastrophes, but no harm in trying new things. Here, take another recipe. A little tip from me to you. Everyone loves a fresh cooked meal on their budding day. Anyways, I... L I should be getting this over to Mari. She loves it when I cook for her. Yes, so Mari's budding day is actually tomorrow. Right there. And budding days are basically just birthdays. See? So after Mari's budding day, we have Owen's. So maybe in the next episode, we can gather up enough supplies to make something that's super yummy for Mari. I think we're just gonna spend the rest of this episode gathering supplies. Supplies, what am I saying? I meant to say gathering harvestables. And then we'll call it a day. Because I have been recording for quite a while now and my voice hurts. <laughs> Time to start the harvesting monologue. I meant to say montage. Whoops. <laughs> montage. these harvestables Woo! pretty good haul also I'll include it but I found a small dreamstone and also um, Perry leveled up and so did our new Strachiosaurus we are just going to use the rest of Lucky Stamina to clear up the farm debris and then we're going to end the episode Good girl, Lucky. Oh, look how close you are to leveling up. Alright. And... Excuse me. Let's lead in Perry. Give Perry a nice little pet. Let's sing Perry her song. Goodbye, Perry. And we'll pet our new little baby. We'll sing your song. And she doesn't respond. Oh, I'll explain what that means in the next episode, but that's actually pretty cool. All right. Hi, babies. Oh, look at them. <laughs> 
all right guys i think we're going to end the episode here thank you so so much for watching please don't forget to comment down name suggestions for our new peach dinosaur stereachiosaurus yeah thank you so so much for watching i really hope you're enjoying everything and i hope to see you in our next little space video Bye bye <laughs>